Now, here's kind of a long question. Um, recently, in a couple of interviews, uh, Soundgarden guitarist Kim Thiel criticized bands where there's a soul songwriter saying, and I quote, when you have four guys that are producing material, collaborating, and offering their two cents to augment whatever's being produced, it's difficult to go down an uncritical, self-congratulatory path, which I think uh, an individual authors can often get caught up in, especially if they're told that they're great and everything they touch will turn to gold. But in most cases, their shit won't turn to gold. And there, there was a lot more. Um, what is your response to this and uh, the comparison between a collaborative creative dynamic versus soul songwriting? Um, well, you know, I, I have no response directly. Um, in terms of the idea, um, I think there's plenty of salt on both sides of the street. You know? um, for people who think I've not been a, in a collaborative frame, they're sadly mistaken. Um, Jimmy Chamberlain was one of the great collaborators of my life. And we had a love affair with music that's that's on, on plastic somewhere, you know? So... Um, you know, uh, Kurt Cobain wrote many of his songs without a lot of particular help, and, and I, nobody's complaining. Um, it, 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 no, nobody needs to diminish or, or flatter what way is better. I think at the end of the day, the public cares if you get it done. Where I've gotten it done uh, on my own or in collaboration, I've been rewarded, and where I haven't, nobody cared how I did it wrong. So that's what I would say to that. Mm-hmm. Now, um, what format do you have planned uh, so far for your Resistance Pro AMC show? And do you think any famous guys like CM Punk could pop up on the show to mentor some of the guys? Um, right now, we're sort of in the in the frame of just sort of revealing how the company works and you know the the, the, the daily toils and troubles that come with trying to be part of an independent wrestling company, which on the whole is not too dissimilar from trying to get a band, you know. Uh, from from the club to the to the to the dome, you know, it's a similar it's a similar path, albeit very very different uh, language. Um, so I don't know. I haven't seen any of the edits. I've only been a part of the shooting, but I'm very encouraged by what I've seen and uh, and discussed with the producers. I'm, I am a producer, so I'm sort of in that in that in that sort of formulation part of it. Um, but you know, a lot of, a lot is really as anybody knows has watched unscripted television a lot really comes down to how it's edited I mean you can take any story and kind of you know portray people kind of in any way depending on where you pick the cuts and stuff so um, you know I, I trust who we're working with and I'm curious to see how they're going to portray these stories out the hope is and the intention seems to be that it's going to be as close to what really goes on as possible and I think in the case of wrestling truth is stranger than fiction 